Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, November 4th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. All you got to do is click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over on the roster at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Free $60 account. All you got to do is click on the link below the video uh, to take advantage to get started on this offer. All right, we've got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Real quick note off the top, I'm not involved at all in the battle between the Cowboys and the Giants. Thought about taking the Giants at seven or higher, but obviously it's down to six and we're not gonna be involved in the game at all. I do have a free pick coming up in the NBA for Monday, and we'll get to that. Uh, first, a quick note, the weekend, well, we told you about Saturday on yesterday's report. It wasn't good for us. Uh, just had some bad luck. I mean, Memphis not covering that spread. In fact, we had two of our top three plays this weekend in football pushed in a tough way. You had Memphis up by 22 on Saturday, about eight minutes to go. They give up back-to-back -back touchdowns, back-to-back two-point conversions on both of those touchdowns. They push instead of covering. We had Tampa Bay yesterday on Sunday as a top play, uh, getting six points from Seattle. They're leading throughout most of the game. Goes to the final play of regulation and Seattle misses a field goal. If they kick the field goal, they win, but we cover. Instead, it goes to overtime where Tampa Bay uh, does not have the luxury of getting the ball at all because Seattle got it first, went right down the field, scored a touchdown. We end up pushing that. So two out of top three plays in football pushed. It was a losing weekend overall for me over at DocSports.com. After last week, we got the breaks where we wanted them and where we needed them, and we go 10-1. and one. Uh, Not so much this week, but uh, we'll look to bounce right back. Thursday is when the football plays that we posted, both college football and the NFL, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And before I get to the free pick, also a quick note, tell you how much of a great Saturday we had. This is the kind of luck we had. I'm going to mention a name to you, and uh, we'll see if you've heard of him. Furkan Korkmaz. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a general NBA fan, general NBA better, you probably haven't heard a lot about Furkan Korkmaz of the Philadelphia 76ers until what he did on Saturday night. Of course, we had the other side, the Portland Trailblazers, and we were up by 21, 22 points at one point in the third quarter, and it was basically a pick'em game. Uh, the most you laid with Portland would have been one or a one and a half, uh, but they blow the lead. They still get the lead back with uh, about two seconds to go. They're up by two, and Furkan Korkmaz, of course, drains a long distance three-pointer virtually at the buzzer to give Philadelphia the one-point win. Now, Cork Moss is a player who averages six points per game. So you can kind of see how Saturday went for us. It was not fun. Uh, we did on Sunday, we cashed our another NASCAR race. That's been just crazy. This reminds me of the late 90s when I got into NASCAR, not because I was an actual huge fan of watching NASCAR, but I saw some advantages when I was doing the Stardust Line radio show in the 90s. Uh, at the Stardust Sportsbook and decided to jump into it, start studying it, start betting it, and we did extremely well. I mean, we kicked rear end all over Las Vegas with our NASCAR picks, myself and a couple of other guys. In fact, had our action refused at a couple of books in Las Vegas. We were doing so well. And uh, we started posting NASCAR this year at Docs and first full year at Docs, and, and we've been posting NASCAR, and we won again on Sunday. Uh, we had Kurt Busch over William Byron. We cashed the ticket. We're now 13 and three with the last 16 NASCAR races, and we're 20 and six going back to May 1st since we just went exclusively to NASCAR matchups. So up about $6,000 since May 1st for those wagering just $100 per unit. Couple races to go, and of course next weekend, and we'll tell you more about it as we get closer to the weekend when we'll post our picks, but uh, next weekend we'll have another race for you in NASCAR. Been just extremely hot. NBA 50 and 32 with our last 82, and I bring it up because we do have NBA on Monday. I've also got NHL on Monday. I passed in the NHL on Sunday, but uh, these October, November runs of the NHL have been outstanding. And, and even at Docs here, since we've been there now, our second season at Docs, uh, but going back to last October, October, November run in the NHL has been outstanding uh, as we've hit over 60% of our NHL plays. So NHL available at 1 p.m. Eastern on Monday for Monday night. Also NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern on Monday uh, for Monday night. NBA again on a 50 and 32 run going back to last season. Again, not involved in Monday night football, but we do have a free pick in the NBA here for you. 
And uh, let's jump. Oh, wait. Before I get to the free pick, almost forgot the opening line moves over at uh, Circa. And again, we told you the last couple of weeks, if you bet back towards the original opener when it's moved two points or more the other way, you've done quite well. By my count, nine and two the last two weeks, three and one this past weekend, and which is better than we did on Saturday. So here they are again. Might want to jot these down. And again, nothing. I've never used the word lock, and I never will when it comes to handicapping and sports betting. Uh, but these have been winners over the last couple of weeks. But again, be careful. Nothing's ever a lock. Central Florida and Tulsa hook up at Tulsa on Friday night. Uh, Central Florida opened 12 and a half. That line first move all the way up to 15 on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening at Circa. So basically what I'm saying is if you choose to follow the situation and hopefully it continues to win, you would back Tulsa because they were a 12 and a half point dog. Now they're a 15 point home dog. Of course, you've got to kind of hold your nose when you make that play if you do uh, with that Central Florida offense being able to score points at will sometimes. Saturday action, Texas Tech open two at West Virginia. They are down to a pick. All the way down to game 135-136 upstart Illinois on a red hot tear. Even covered the 20 and a half point, 21 point spread against uh, Rutgers this past weekend after a couple of big wins. They are a, an 11 and a half point dog at East Lansing at Michigan State. Now, the Spartans open up 13 and a half and the line has moved two points towards Illinois in that one. Uh, Stanford at Colorado up in Boulder. This game opened Pickham. Stanford's now a three-point favorite in that game. Uh, Liberty at BYU up in Provo. BYU open 20 and a half. They're down to 18 and a half. BYU with another big performance on Saturday night as they crushed Utah State. Uh, Georgia Southern and Troy. That's game 177-178 if you're following along in schedule order. Uh, Troy opened up the one-point home favorite and they are now a two-point underdog Sunday night heading into Monday morning with the action coming in on Georgia Southern. And finally, wrapping up the card on Saturday night, Mountain West action, San Jose State at Hawaii. Uh, the Warriors opened up a nine and a half point favorite, but the money's come in on San Jose. Warriors down to seven and a half. Hawaii from a nine and a half opening line favorite down to seven and a half. But we'd like to let you know again over at Circa, it, it, their lines look to be better than what we see after the betters have at it and move them. And again, going back the other way towards that original opener. If you've done that over the last couple of weeks, nine and two against the spread. I'm not real big on betting blindly on situations that don't have a big uh, sample size, so to speak. But uh, you can understand that the uh, bookmakers lines have been pretty sharp. And some of these movements have moved it away from that number you bet against them. You know how it is. Uh, and you've been winning. So those are the games that have moved on Sunday, Sunday night. And that's when we do this. And that's when we've graded what Circa has done as those first uh, sharper moves on Sundays and Sunday evenings. All right, again, don't forget our basketball NBA will be available Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern, along with our NHL 50 and 32 NBA run. Let's get to the free pick uh, for Monday night, and we're going to head to the NBA for that one also. And we're going to back the Phoenix Suns, who are getting right now, as I cut this video, about a point and a half at home over Philadelphia. Now, we told you what happened uh, the other night with Philadelphia when they came from more than 20 points back of Portland on the road on Saturday night got that last second win uh, and again with um, Korkmaz hitting that three-pointer virtually at the buzzer to get them to come from behind cover and victory outright. Uh, we think they're going to have a rougher time tonight. And again, it's only a one and a half point spread or thereabouts that Phoenix is getting at home, but we like them here. I like the additions that Phoenix has made. No, they don't have the big man in the middle who suspended DeAndre Ayton, but they've got Ricky Rubio, so they got a point guard now to go along with Devin Booker, which helps. They made some other nice moves. Aaron Baines, Kaminsky, uh, guys like this who they brought over in the offseason. Decent draft. Uh, the bench is a little bit better than it was last year, and I think they're going to be a little bit too tough for Philly in this one. I really do. I know with uh, Philly not having their big man, Joel Embiid, who's suspended and out, listed as out for this game, they're not going to be quite as effective on the interior. We saw what happened the other night in Portland. Very lucky to win and they weren't denying a whole lot on the inside. So we're going to back Phoenix. We're going to take them on Monday night over Philadelphia, our free pick in Monday's NBA. All right, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column 
right back here Tuesday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Don't forget, college basketball starts on Tuesday. There's only about, oh, 1,500 games on Tuesday. I think there's like 270 teams that are going to tip off their season on Tuesday. We'll talk more about that on Tuesday's video. Have a great one on Monday. Let's win. Let's be right back here, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday morning.